Are you older and looking for a new job? Ingrid Collins and Valerie Hudgens with AARP have some great strategies to help you expedite a job search and find the job you want. Valerie and Ingrid, we've just been chatting about jobs and situations and what an incredible topic to cover because, you know, folks don't want to retire. They don't want to see that 65th birthday or 66th birthday and say, that's the end of my working life. So what are you all seeing in the job force now? Well, I think one of the most important things to recognize is that the way you apply for jobs has changed. Oh gosh, yeah. Everything's on the internet now. But that is really mm -hmm. the biggest problem with the with yep. applying for work because back in the day you could go in a store and meet a manager, smile and give mm -hmm. a great handshake and get a job. <laughs> right. You're right. In today's world, you have to go on this this computer where you're a number. Mm -hmm. And what mm -hmm. is important is to move beyond that. Even though that is what is expected, mm -hmm. still make the call, still ask for a manager, sure. still give your sales pitch. Mm -hmm. So there's ways you can move around that a little bit. And speaking of a resume, now we mentioned mm -hmm. that you know you don't want to necessarily you know put all the details of your resume right. in there. You can kind of age proof it right. and and put in the the relevant items. Absolutely, I think that's what someone who's reviewing resumes actually wants to see mm -hmm. why should I call this person versus that person and if you're just putting everything back to you know my high school babysitting job that's it's not really relevant mm -hmm. and you know unless you actually are still in high school and that's all you have to say <laughs> right. but, and you really don't want to go past 10 years that's long yeah, enough yeah. to give them sure um, and so it even so using that relevance piece your cover letter attached with that will fill in the gaps of if there's time frames missing, mm -hmm. you can fill in the gap. Right. But the resume itself, as Ingrid said, the yeah. relevant part of right. why you're looking for this job, why you're a fit, mm -hmm. is what's important on your resume. And and leave off the years of your college sure. or high school. Leave off those years. Yeah, if mm -hmm. that's a really necessary detail, necessary. they can find that out yeah, uh, right. as easily. And you know, it's also that kind of give and take. We give. We've talked about a lot of stories with working with various generations mm -hmm. and what each generation can learn from the other. There's right. so much yeah. value that mm -hmm. the older worker brings into the workplace. And the first thing we hear is, oh, I don't fit in anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's really critically important that when we're working with them, we help them to discover their value again. Mm -hmm. um, what, what's your passion? What, why, why, what makes you tick? Um, but more importantly, when you get into the workplace, what can you bring as an older person with wisdom and mm -hmm. insight that a right. lot of these younger people just don't have yet? Nothing mm -hmm. against right. them, just don't have it yet. Experience is a plus, plus. and there's purpose in plus. that. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, yeah. and that's it. Um, I know we also kind of chatted, it's finding that common ground across the generations for wherever, whether you're working full time or maybe part time right. that can really make that difference. You feel relevant and I think that's what happens a lot of times we get to a certain number mm -hmm. age yes. and you don't feel relevant anymore. Yes. You're kind of out of the mainstream. Yes. But a job can get you to that. Absolutely. And we're living longer. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what are they, the 60s, the new 50. <laughs> and so our purpose is still very relevant. Mm -hmm. And because we're living longer, it just means that we, we want to work longer. We want to get out of the house, get out of the house more. Sure. And that's really mm -hmm. important. And because we're living intergenerationally, I think they would mm -hmm. say, in our households, you have all of those different layers. It's not much going to be much different in the workplace. Oh, sure. So right. you'll have all those common experiences mm -hmm. and we can learn from the younger generation and they learn from us Absolutely. as well. Always, yes. And you have to open that door because mm -hmm. sometimes while it might feel uncomfortable or, or intimidating. intimidating, especially if you've had a, a job change mm -hmm. or you've moved to a new town and you don't know anyone, it's no different. No matter who the surrounding yes. people are, right. you Put yourself out there and it's a say big hi, change. introduce yourself. <laughs> Absolutely, thank you so much, ladies. And Ingrid and Valerie, I love this approach of using your age as a selling point. Thanks for all the great do's and don'ts for getting a job later in life. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you for having us.